Hey everybody. So while we're back at the wheel horse waiting for our parts to come in on that uh, hydraulic lift, I was at Lowe's and I bought a new battery and you wouldn't think it's a big deal but when you have a dead battery like that one which is original wouldn't barely keep a charge for 40 bucks I bought a new battery and I'm pretty pretty happy about it because it's nice to have your gauges operate the way they should and other things so these are 35 watt each uh, headlights and the problem is is that when I use the headlights the battery voltage, even with a fresh battery, when this thing's running, it, it goes down to nothing. These batter, these lights really suck a lot of power. They're not halogen, I don't believe. I think they're incandescent. I should probably turn that keys off. key off. There we go. They're incandescent. Yeah, they're not halogen. And I bought them at Tractor Supply. So what I've decided to do is replace them with a comparable LED. They're basically the same size. These are a they're heavy. They got a glass lens. And you probably can't read that in the light. <laughs> I can't either. But they are 3000 Kelvin water resistant 12 volt PAR 36 PAR 36 9 watt AC DC light. These are basically a landscape light that you would put out in your yard shining up at a tree or something like that. Well, we're going to replace these, put these new ones on, and see what difference they make. It's 9 volts, so two of them 18 volts, but they throw allegedly 50 watts of power as opposed to 35. So let's get these hooked up. Should be just an easy hookup, and I'll show you what they look like. All right, so we have our lights installed. And I have to say, they're, they're every bit as heavy, if not heavier, than the incandescent bulbs that they replaced. But what I like about them is they have this notch. So there's already a notch here in the uh, bezel here to, a, to accommodate the headlight, because this style of headlight has a little notch. So it locks in. And these new style even have those. So they fit right in there. And then I can just attach those things. So let's give them a try. Turn the key on. Whoa. <laughs> that is quite a difference. That is incredible. Those are blazing. Those are incredible. So that is a huge difference over what we had. And having the lights on, you can see where before I was pegged in the red, I'm just in the yellow. I should have, um, I got my tail lights. These are regular incandescents here, but they're probably only five watt. The charging system was actually having a hard time, I think, keeping up with these lights. So there's 70 watts of light. Now I've gone down to 18. So that'll uh, help my battery situation. I'm gonna keep these just to keep them handy because they, they work. But um, I bought them on Amazon. I was gonna buy them from 1,000 light bulbs. They were 30 bucks a piece or 29 a piece and I went on Amazon Amazon came up, they were 12 bucks a piece. Free shipping. Hard to beat that. Definitely hard to beat that. Let's start this up real quick. Let's see, we're coming up here. Now, if I flip the lights on. lights but I'm charging where before I was charging the battery just to stay I was charging the battery just to, to power those headlights so I'll put a link in the description uh, where I got them and how much if anybody has a tractor that uses these old style type light bulbs you may uh, you may think about updating your lighting 
So I have to say that was pretty impressive. Um, these are the 3000 Kelvin, so they're similar. They're a warmer temperature light. So they kind of look original, but they throw a lot of light. And they are rated for 13 years, or for like 15,000 hours being used at three hours a day. So I think these are gonna last a long time. Thanks a lot for checking this video out. Please click that subscribe button. We will see everybody really soon.